Yeah, you're getting two videos to make up for the fact that you were supposed to get like one really well-made one and um, you didn't. Um, but anyways, we shall begin with the comparison of the physical uh, type. That was a really weird way to say that, Moonraiser. As previously mentioned, Gandalf is not actually an elderly human male, but rather a Meyer spirit, meaning he has a physical output much higher than it realistically should be. He's not exactly super fast or anything, but he is really, really tough. Um, his fighting style does appear to mostly consist of strong attacks. He's a power duelist of sorts, which should be expected concerning considering yeesh had a hard trouble with that word uh considering that the weapons he uses are battle staffs and swords so uh strength is where it's at for that particular style and one should not completely discount his speed considering that he was capable of keeping up with dwarfs who are as we all know natural sprinters actually they are, they are actually uh described as being uh, faster than hobbits in the Hobbit novelization, and considering hobbits in turn are described as faster than humans, uh, the fact that Gandalf is able to keep up with the dwarfs does imply at least near superhuman speed, um, to some degree at least. The in consideration of Old Ben Kenobi, on the other hand, again, I don't think we should dismiss him just because he's an old guy. Again, Count Dooku but on the other hand, Qui-Gon Jinn. So there is still an argument to be made that he's well past his physical prime, which is a problem when comparing him to the likes of Gandalf. I do not believe that Gandalf is capable of the same physical output as, say, Aragorn or Legolas, but he does have several very credible feats of endurance that Kenobi lacks. So I actually do think that Gandalf will be able to outpace um, Kenobi, since his reflexes do appear to be just below that of a Jedi Master like Kenobi, so the deciding factor here is their toughness, which Gandalf takes. In terms of weapons and armament, I'm gonna kinda go ahead and spoil the versus matchup here and now. This is where old Ben Kenobi wins. Gandalf is armed with an elven sword and a wizard staff, but we have seen both of these things destroyed by magical weapons before, so I don't think it's 100% um, a sure thing that either of these weapons can stand up to a lightsaber. We have seen Jedi Masters empower their sticks enough that they can take a hit from a lightsaber, but even that had its limits and someone like Exar Kun was able to overpower that, and we don't even know if wizard staffs can do that in the first place. Um, really, I'm just not confident enough to say uh, that Gandalf can actually even block a lightsaber blade in the first place to say he can. So, lightsaber takes the cake. Gandalf does have the ring of fire, but that more go goes towards his magical prowess. Speaking of, this is a... Um, closer fight than it would be between Gandalf and pretty much any other Jedi Master of Kenobi's level, because Old Ben Kenobi is an extremely powerful force wielder. The fact that he's, first of all, Obi-Wan Kenobi, so he has some pretty good force feats from the Clone Wars as is, and the fact that he can turn into a force ghost, and the fact that he has basically been doing nothing for the past 20 years or so but meditating, which we know exponentially create uh, increases one's connection and therefore power to the Force. Just compare Darth Sidious from Revenge of the Sith to Darth Sidious from Dark Empire after he has had 20 years of nothing but meditation, pretty much. Um, Kenobi does have the potential to be a Doctor Strange type uh, magic wielder. However, he doesn't really use it. It's pretty much, much a force trick with him in A New Hope, and that's it. Like, that really surprised me to go back and kind of go over his scenes. It's really just like the one notable use of the force, and it's one of the most basic Jedi powers as it is. Um, he doesn't really get anything um, either in Star Wars Rebels, where he finishes Maul way too quickly for that to matter. Um, 
and uh, Force Unleashed because, again, I'm not even sure I want to count that, and I definitely don't want to count his Force Ghost losing a lightsaber duel to a uh, squishy human cyborg meat bag, robot bag, I guess, person. Um, the point is, Obi-Wan Kenobi at this point in his life is a very Gandalf-style magic wielder. He is subtle, he uses small powers, slight pushes, a little trick here and there. He's not going to be eyeing you with grand displays. It's simply not his style anymore. And the problem with that is that that is exactly the way Gandalf uses his magic and Gandalf has shown more um, magnitude, even with his simple trickery like this. And he is a lot more practiced at it. Again, dude's almost 2,000 years old. Um, so he's been fighting that way a lot longer than Obi-Wan Kenobi has. So eh, it's not major. If Kenobi does choose to unleash his full force magnitude, I'm sure he can just ragdoll Gandalf the same way Saruman did. But I consider that scenario to be unlikely. Therefore, Gandalf gets the advantage here. And then it comes down to martial prowess, which will be more an examination of their feats, as my previous two videos have already kind of discussed Gandalf and Old Ben's fighting style. Old Ben is slow paced and grounded, but very deliberate, and he certainly doesn't pull punches. Like his reaction to Luke getting harassed is to lop a dude's arm off. Um, Gandalf, on the other hand, is actually primarily a dual wielder, amusingly enough. He is almost always using a sword and staff in combination. He's very deliberate as well. Um, heavy power blows or slight cuts that just offhandedly kills three opponents at once. They actually have very similar fighting styles, ironically. So we're gonna immediately move on to examine their feats. Gandalf is actually kind of lacking here. He did kill the Great Goblin of the Misty Mountains, but in the books and animated versions, the Great Goblin was completely distracted by a fire display from Gandalf naturally at the time, so he wasn't even paying attention when he got killed. Um, the live action film does give a more impressive show, though it's also clear right from the get-go that the Great Goblin didn't stand much of a chance. He seems more a Jabba the Hutt type than a Darth Vader type, to be honest. Gandalf's duel against Azog, again from the live action movies, is again not that credible or relevant here, since he used his magic to just escape from Azog, rather than actually have a throwdown battle with him. Understandably so, considering there was an orc army in the area. Uh, Sauron absolutely schools Gandalf, but Sauron is Sauron, so that kind of goes without saying. If you're not Luthien, Sauron's gonna uh, school you, pretty much. Like, Luthien, even including the Shadow of Mordor games, Luthien is still the only one I will pretty much always back over Sauron. Um, to move on to Fellowship of the Ring, Gandalf does take on all or almost all of the Rhine Wraiths at once, but it was off screen and we just know that both parties survived. So eh, I'm not sure how relevant that is. So Gandalf's most impressive feat in terms of martial prowess is definitely his defeat of the Balrog, which to be fair is incredibly impressive, but the strain did kill him in the process. Old Ben Kenobi, on the other hand, has absolutely schooling Darth Maul and tying Vader in a duel. We don't really know how the fight between Vader and Old Ben would have turned out had it continued, but I feel it's fairly safe to say that if Old Ben had thought himself capable of overcoming Vader, he would have done so rather than just throwing the fight. So, Vader is at least the more confident of the two here, I feel. Um, that's just personal interpretation, of course. Ultimately, it is his e absolutely easy victory over Maul that makes me think Kenobi is probably the better duelist of the two. I know that Gandalf can chew, chew through goblins like nobody's business, but so can pretty much everyone, to be honest. Orc lives don't really matter. They're not overly skilled combatants. Um, so, really, I... have find Old Ben's martial skill uh, unsurprisingly 
Again, considering that I find him very comparable to his Revenge of the Sith self, so I actually count a majority of his feats from the Clone Wars towards old Ben Kenobi, I'm definitely siding with him here. So in conclusion, I do give this one to old Ben. I think Gandalf does have a slight edge over him in terms of being tougher and using his magical powers better, but Kenobi has a lightsaber, and ultimately that's the deciding factor. He has a lightsaber and he's better at using it. Not to mention there is always the possibility that he can just amp himself enough with the force to nullify Gandalf's other edges. So ultimately that is my conclusion, Old Ben Kenobi is the victor here. If you want to pick a mentor, however...